last day of summer. Seven First Alert meteorologist Michelle McLeod tracking your Seven First Alert forecast. Pretty nice day for the holiday, Michelle. Yeah, not a bad day. I mean, it's it's on par with our normal temperatures unless you're inland and away from the lakes. And it's a bit breezy. Last Labor Day, it was cool, wet, and windy. So at least we're not looking at that. You're looking at a live look outside of our Skywatch 7. You can see a little bit of a bounce in the camera. I'll show you what those winds look like in detail in just a few minutes. But 74 degrees, perhaps getting ready to see a decent sunset, except for all of these clouds in the way. You see that looks like it's 7 Super Doppler. Here it is, you're seeing some winds there. 16 miles an hour, but you know I like to zoom things in see exactly who's getting in on what we're anyway between 10 to 16 miles and the winds doing due west and really it's just quite breezy you can see that in seven super doppler some of those popcorn clouds the sun's making its way down so those clouds are starting to fade away it doesn't mean that they're actually going away let's take a look at the future cast here by 11 p.m you're seeing things pretty nice and quiet for us we'll see some areas of patchy fog especially in the valleys don't be surprised if you see that perhaps a stray shower developing in the morning you're seeing clear skies do you see how those winds turn from the west to the south remember when those winds come from the south it means we're going to see warmer temperatures i showed you that in first weather but i'll show you that again with the seven first alert seven day now you're seeing the southwest trajectory as you're getting to the afternoon hours a little breezy not as bad as today by 5 p.m you're still seeing some showers trying to make their way but the big deal is overnight into the morning you're seeing this line of showers trying to make its way through Look at what happens in the morning though. This is ahead of a cold front. Things are going to be wet for the beginning of your day. Take a few extra minutes as you head out the door for work in the morning. Some of those showers will pack a punch and then it's going to be quite breezy for your Wednesday. Tonight, we'll call it 56 degrees, partly cloudy and cool, seeing some areas of patchy fog, still a bit breezy. As you go into tomorrow, it's going to be more warm. Look at this, upper 70s to low 80s. Everyone in Western New York and Pennsylvania finally getting in on some of those 70s. Here's your seven first alert seven day. I'm just going to move out of the way so you can see this in all of its glory. You're seeing a pair of sevens for tomorrow, 75 for Wednesday. It will be breezy. You'll see some scattered showers, especially in the morning. Some of those packing a bit of a punch. Thursday being wet too. You're seeing those temperatures. Yes, you're seeing 71, but don't be surprised. You see some 60s. 60s on Fridays, yikes, if you don't like those 60s. We bounce back into the 70s as you go into the first half of the weekend. Things will gradually increase as you get into the end of the seven day. We'll have some dry time on hand for that.